Hello guys, it's Jixo here and today it's one of the most exciting days in Injustice 2 Mobile. We didn't have a day like this since forever and it's only because one of the forgotten packs has just been re-released re in Injustice 2 Mobile and it's a pack that everybody asked for, everybody wanted and for whatever reason they decided to remove it back in the days like two years ago or something like that for no reason whatsoever they just straight up removed it because it was too good to be true and everybody benefited from this uh, just because they wanted to fill their pockets but now for the 4th of July sales for their offers they decided to bring back the gear booster pack man and it's not only that but it's discounted by 25% off so it's 112 gems for this magnificent pack so this is outstanding i couldn't be more happier than this but sadly it expires in two days so you better watch out you better get advantage of this one because lord knows when we are going to see this pack again in, in injustice to mobile so that's the headline of this video just me saying how grateful i am for this pack and telling everybody that you should actually purchase this one no matter how many gems you have you i believe it's safe to say that this is the best pack that you can invest your gems in and i would advise everyone to spend their gems on this pack because it's the best value in a pack in injustice to mobile period you cannot get any better than this and if you want to advance in this game if you want to build your roster this contains the two resources that you are going to need reforges and materials and it's not the fact that the amount of the materials is actually huge it's tremendously high or for some or something like that but the reforges you have chances for reforges and the chances are pretty high so we're going to talk, talk about that in a minute but let's get some things out of the way we have other sales i know crazy we have other packs at sales but they are not that important as the gear booster pack but it's worth to talk about them the classic heroes um it's also discounted it contains one random silver or gold guaranteed to start of greater with a bonus chance of uh, getting a classic hero like there are only two classic characters which is the um, classic superman and classic batman and they are not even characters that are i don't know op or mandatory or something like that so i would say pass on this one you have chances for legendaries uh but as you can see here uh it markets uh the classic characters you can get uh what's it, what it says here a four star classic character but the chance in fact it's only 0 0.165 but for a legendary it's 0 0.231 so it, i don't know it doesn't make any sense this this just markets uh just legendary it, it markets a gold character but it's actually legendary they have a greater chance in this one it's kind of dumb but i would say only go for this pack if you want to pull a legendary or something like that because you have a better chance for legendary that than for the marketed gold character that you have here and the marketed gold characters are actually redundant sort of so only classic superman is actually mandatory classic batman is kind of trash so i would say pass on this one only if, if you want to I don't know, take a risk, take a swing, just to get a legendary. But other than that, hell no. Uh, the wizard's chest, this is a good chest, man. Don't get me wrong, it's a very good chest, especially when it's discounted. Uh, 225 gems, you can go wrong with this one, but I would say only if you want Shazam. If you are missing Shazam or it's your favorite hero, you want to upgrade it or something like that, or it's been too long since you saw his arena season, yeah go for this one but uh shazam also has an arena season black adam also has an arena season so still dr fate is redundant so i don't know you do the math in terms of what is valuable for your roster if you think shazam is the only thing that you lack from your roster then just go for it 
but I wouldn't personally go for a chest with Shazam or Black Adam because those are characters that have an arena season and it's not like it's only once a year it's more often and eventually you're going to get them uh, for less gems but it's there if you wanna if you wanna take a chance if you like those characters other than that we have the normal chest we don't need to talk about them the wonder chest uh, this one is a 2% chance for golden armor wonder woman and what other character is this? Uh, Mythic Wonder Woman, I think. Yes, Mythic Wonder Woman. But the chances are kind of slim, and it's 450 gems, and neither Wonder Woman, neither uh, Golden Armor Wonder Woman are not characters that are mandatory for your roster. They're actually kind of redundant. Nobody else uh, is using them nowadays, and that's for a good reason. And the chance is pretty goddamn expensive for the characters that you are able to get. So I would say pass on this one, but... Even if you're, it's your favorite character, I wouldn't actually purchase this chest because they are not OP. They are not OP and the chest is fucking expensive, man. The Dark Side Legendary chest, I would pass on this one only if you are that close. You are that close to upgrade Dark Side to 5 stars or 6 stars or something like that. Only then, but um, to get this chest in order to unlock Dark Side, I wouldn't bet my life on it. And for 450 gems, I don't know, I would rather, personally, the way that I did to make my dark side 6 stars is just the normal chest, the, um, the basic hero chest, that's how I got my dark side, that's how I got it, him to 6 star, and the same way for Arkham Knight Batman. So for those two specific legendaries, the basic hero chest is the way to go, not the specific leg legendary chest. Now, the star of the show... For today, it's your boy, <laughs> the gear pack. Oh my god. Uh, so it contains for 2000 to 8000 gear materials or 15 or 100 gear reforges. Now, the amount of gems that you pay for this one is pretty acceptable. Like it's 112 gems for one pack. With 112 gems, believe me. Anything that you are going to get, if it's not the lowest amount, if it's not 2,000 materials or 15, ge 15 gear reforges, it's going to be good. But if you are one lucky bastard and you, are, you manage to pull the higher chances, you can get 8,000 materials. It's pretty reasonable for 112 gems. It's pretty reasonable. But the main reason why would you actually want to open this chest is for the chance that you have in dropping either 50 either 80 or 100 reforges because that's fucking valuable stuff man th th those are huge amounts for the gems that you spend so if you manage to spend 112 gems and pull 100 reforges in one go that's just from another world like the amount of progress that you can make with 100 reforges is actually naughty. So I would say it's definitely worth it. One of the best chests in Ninja Studio Mobile. One of the one of the best chests for beginners and for more advanced players. So if you don't like farming a um, farming campaign, if you don't like the time that you put in that you invest in farming campaign and you don't like the amount of reforges that you get per daily from campaign please i advise you just purchase this chest and get on with it get your reforges upgrade your characters and make your roster amazing because that's what this chest is all about making your roster amazing and your char character stronger like in my opinion, I've been playing this game for 4 years, there is no other chest in Injustice Mobile in terms of value than this chest right here. I purchased one last night uh, and I got 30 reforges, I was pretty happy, 30 reforges for 112 gems, I believe it's a decent amount. Um, I didn't purchase more because I already have a ton of reforges laying around so I don't need uh, that much of them right now. But just for the sake of this video, let's purchase another one. I, I, I won't be mad if I get 
the lowest stuff I, I have no idea but just for the sake of this video so do oh <laughs> oh boy oh boy oh boy <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, 50 reforges for 112 gems, so in total I spent 200 and something gems and I got 80 reforges for that amount of gems, bro. I know I, I'm getting hyped like a goddamn kid, but dude, it's definitely worth it, I really didn't expect that. So for 50 reforges, I have a 6% chance, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm getting too hyped about this chest, but it, it's worth it, man. So, I didn't even expect that. I'm not one of the luckiest motherfuckers in this game. You know me. I have pretty bad luck in, when it comes to chests. But this one is worth it, man. This one is definitely worth it. So, that was the video for today. It was a happy ending. But, yeah. Uh, closing thoughts. Purchase this chest. You won't be disappointed. And one of the best un uh, anniversaries for 4th of July, in my opinion, just because of this goddamn chest. Gear Booster Pack, man, we missed you. I hope we see you again pretty soon. That was the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Peace.